Hello everybody and welcome to the Go Wild channel. Um, today we are going to show a video um, explaining some differences of editing one photo in, in three different uh, software uh, photo editing. The Adobe Lightroom Class Classic, the Light Skyloom Luminar and the Skyloom Aurora. So let's see how to edit the photo in, in these three different programs and what is the best uh, for editing photo. So let's start. We have here one photo and we are going to edit this photo. We can start by uh, of course uh, making a little bit of improvement in the composition uh, and then we could use this automatic photo to see how it works. Um, okay, it works good. Uh, Lightroom is telling me that this here, let me and check this, that we have here some highlight for uh, um, some highlight for the sky and uh, it's a little bit blown away so it's overexposed so we needed to correct this if we wanted a good photo but let me change this and I don't want the automatic so we are going to edit from ourselves the photography itself so Let's start and let's start decreasing the the highlights and increasing a little bit the shadows. Okay, we can put some contrast, some clarity, vibration, saturation. Okay, and now we could make some improvements in color in saturation okay let's remove the chromatic aberration if it has it and we have the photo uh, well corrected let me check the white balance and we can start here in the snow because we know the snow is uh, white and the white balance changes a little bit okay so it's good what we wanted, what we could do is to improve a little bit the sky here and for that we can use the graduated filter but this is, would, would not work for us because it would make changes here also in the mountains like if you wanted to see, you see if we did this we affect also the mountains and we don't want that so we are going to take this off and we are going to use the brush to make some changes here in the sky so we just needed to paint if you want to see what you are doing you check you you put a check in this part here okay and this make you a color mask for you to see the changes that you are doing i also advise you to check here this automatic mask and what this does is lightroom will try to try to to understand what you, what you want to to mask with the brush and try not to pass to other parts uh, it does a, it's not very effective but it helps a little bit now i i changed this my brush i i hit the option key in in mac and i'm reducing here i'm taking off the brush or the selection from the mountains because I don't want that the effect to occur in the mountains just in the sky so now it's okay it's for it's good it you you, could, you need to improve a little bit if you if you were editing a photo uh, for final purposes you should make here some adjustments well but you have it more or less let me unmark this and reveal the photo and now you're going to make your changes so you see i hit uh, the here the um, you see the, this program is in portuguese and all my programs are in portuguese because it's my main language but i'll try to explain everything to you uh, for uh, you to follow the operation so i i reduce the highlights here in the sky and reducing the exposure and we are starting to have a better sky here we could also change temperature you put it a little bit more bluish 
and give him a cold uh, temperature and let's see we could open a little bit the whites and decrease the blacks to make it more contrasty okay so now we are heavy we have our sky much better um, and for me it's good okay so it's a uh, it's a good one you can see here uh, the before and the after so we did improve a lot the photography so it's much more better oh sorry uh, I didn't want this I want this okay so we are now finishing our edit just improving a little bit saturation we you could also make some contrast here in the in the curves the curves really work really good in in editing uh, photography but for me uh, just apply a little bit of sharpening for me the photo is quite good so we are finishing it and for you and not for you and we are going to export uh, this photo to our hard drive okay so let's export it and I'm going to rename it for light room edit so if for us to know that this one was the Lightroom edition okay so it's good it's fantastic it was a really a good way and uh, we could we go we, we it was a fast uh, editing now it's exporting and we are going to change now for luminar we're going to remove Lightroom and we're going to we're going to change to luminar to edit our photo so here in luminar uh, we have uh, different ways to export or to edit our photo so you could see it uh, as the in the um, in Lightroom we have the automatic button uh, some somewhere around here uh, in Luminar we don't have the automatic photo instead we have presets that we can use uh, to change our photo so you have for example the tonal compressor you see and he edits the photo uh, straight away and it, it almost look like our um, Lightroom photo but just with one click we can do that let me take this off you have also the for example the mill image in answer this is one of my favorites okay and uh, let me take off you have the sky in answer okay and you have also some really good thing for example in uh, lightroom if you hit the automatic button it's the automatic and it's uh, right there and th then if you want to choose to edit the photo you edit in the sliders in the development module but here if you want i'm sorry here if you want you have this for example this sky in answer and then you can choose the quantity of the improvement or the changes that you make with the filter you see you just put what you want in there so for example here in the tonal compressor let's start okay so now you here you choose the amount of the filter that you want in the photo so if you don't want the 100 percent for example you seem you like it but you think it is too much you decrease here the quantity okay so for but for this uh, yeah, oh, of course you have a lot of categories this is the basic you have the outdoor for example that it's good for um, it's good for landscape As you can see I'm changing here really fast just for you to to, to get the idea uh, but we don't want anything of this but oh, so we are going to change this and we're going to our original photo okay so we will edit uh, the photo in this uh, development mode so i'm going to take off the presets we are not going to use it let me put this in the okay in the old screen so now we are we are in the raw development mode and here you have uh, a lead, uh, some different uh, work stations or work areas uh, that you can choose professional fast essentials aerial black and white landscape portrait or street for this um, 
editing I'm going to choose landscape and luminar will get me all the filters that I want or that I need to work with the landscape if you do want to improve or if you want to add more filters you just need to sh to click here add filters and you have 50 or more than 50 filters that you can use uh, to edit the photo if you need it to another one just click twice and the filter will come to this part here for example uh, let's see uh, soft focus here this one I hit it once uh, one or twice and he, the soft focus is here in our work area so I don't want it let me take this off uh, and let me close this filter catalog because I don't need more to edit so let's start uh, by doing the white balance and uh, I'm, I'm I'm going to put it here like we did it in the last uh, in the Lightroom photo and we're going to start editing the photo so for the, what we are decreasing highlights increasing a little bit the shadows the contrast okay so we have vibration here and saturation i'm just doing the same thing as we do in the in the lightroom photo and now we are we we stop in the sky so remember in lightroom we paint with the brush here the sky and then we make the changes well in uh, luminar we can do it much more easily so we have the sky improvement here the filter the artificial intelligent sky improvement and you just need to drag this slider and he will make the job for you okay so we start we need to, to wait a little bit for the image to render and now you have the sky improvement uh, or improved so we can see the differences by clicking in this eye here this was the photo without the filter and this is the photo with the, with the filter if you think it is too much just drag a little bit down and you have uh, less um, less filter in the photo so let's see it again okay well it's okay now and then let's let's pass for uh, another filter for editing and this one here is the artificial intelligent accent improvement so this is the same thing just hit the slider and put the slider to the right and this filter will make the automatic automatic changes via uh, artificial intelligence to your photo let's see the let's see the before or the after you see and he make the changes in the photo so we didn't do anything just here the highlights and the shadows and the other thing uh, the other editing was made by this uh, two filters that they are really really fantastic okay so let's continue um, Luminar just have also here the adjustable um, graduated so instead of making uh, you can only do you, you can also do it the gradient uh, filter so like this in it's the same thing as the Lightroom but you don't need to do this why I'm sorry let me just take this off you have the adjustable graduation filter and it's divided by superior and inferior let me unmark this and in, in the superior you see i'm going to exaggerate here now for you to see we are just making improvements in the superior part of the image and it, it does not touch in the inferior part um, you can define the orientation is here by re clicking here and putting as you want it for example if you want it like this just to improve a little bit the sky and we just need you just have you have only the improvements in the sky so let's let put it a little bit more blue like we did in uh, in Lightroom and then here the inferior part and this now is just affecting the inferior part of the photo so if you want to see it, if you want to make a little bit contrasty uh, a little bit more vibrant in the colors but we are not going to touch a lot on on the colors because we you we have here another uh, filter to do that so here you I hope you understand this you can define the orientation and then you can work the photos uh, in the up part and in the down part okay 
so you have here saturation i i already did it you have the advanced contrast so <coughs> sorry if you uh, you have here the quantity you have this you can uh, the highlights you can make the contrast in highlights so you can see look, look for the skies you see you have you can uh, manage to control the contrast in the areas that you want not in all the photos so it, this is fantastic i really love this one uh, you have the midtones also and this is only affecting the midtones i'm going to show you okay the midtone uh, only only affecting the midtones and in the shadows you have to really okay this is only affecting the, the the contrast in the shadows you have to you have to have really careful about this one about the shadows because it can induce a lot of uh, let me put this you can you it can uh, make a lot noise here in the photos so after that, let's continue. You have the polarization filter here, and it, this just makes uh, it's kind of like if you are using a polarizing filter um, in uh, in your camera in your lens, and this will make the the effect of a polarizing filter. Um, as you can see, if I turn it for that, I put the sky a little bit more bluish. Uh, uh, in the saturation and I don't want so much of this and I'm going to use a little bit about around five so okay uh, after that you have another one that is fantastic it's vegetation improvement so you see uh, then you put a little bit more I'm going to exaggerate for you to see uh, in this filter uh, luminar only selects and edit the vegetation so you can only you can you can uh, improve your vegetation in your photo just by clicking in this slider so you see and you 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 put the quantity here or the amount and here is the matrix of the color so the hue okay so now it's good I can make like this and uh, if you have for example the golden hour if you want to make a little bit uh, warmity in the the colors and make uh, that kind of effect of uh, golden hour colors and then you have structure radiance I'm not going to use it and uh, vignetting that I'm not going to use also uh, let me see just if I put it okay I didn't put here the chromatic aberration and the lens distortion I should do it in the beginning uh, let me just put it in the end okay it will correct a little bit okay so now we have our photo uh, complete and I'm going to export it uh, we could make a, a lot let me just uh, luminar edit we could make a lot of uh, edit more but uh, for the purpose of this um, tutorial uh, I'm just, just going to let it like this so this is processing this is uh, exporting the photo and while he is exporting if the computer lets me I'm going to He's not going to let me. I'm going to open the photo in uh, um, Aurora. Okay, so now we are in the Aurora. This is another uh, software editor from uh, Skyloom. And we're going to open the same photo. Just drag it for here for the workspace and it will open. The Aurora is an HDR um, software editor so it's for preparing photos for HDR effect uh, usually if you want an HDR effect you should work with uh, three exposures or more but uh, Skylum Luminar all also works really well with one exposure and he the program what it does is uh, uh, improve your photo in an HDR look um, I'm going to 
show you the program uh, in depth in another video but for this one uh, uh, we are just comparing some editing so I'm not going to talk about the program too much so uh, okay he finally did it uh, and as you can see uh, we just need to open the photo and this and the uh, Aurora already made changes for us so he when he opens the photo he tried to understand what it's the best editing for you and it will present you with an edited image um, straight away and then if you if you if you want you can use it or you can uh, um, just edit the photo in another way so let's do it it's the same like luminar you have a lot uh, of um, the presets that you can use for example i change this one here uh, then you have another one here they kind of look good and you have another for, ah, for example you have the landscape one for that is uh, uh, you have here some presets uh, for lamp landscape you have this one here better skies that um, as you can see uh, it tries to improve the skies straight away it's just like luminar you can slide down the amount uh, and you can uh, choose how many or or how much the filter uh, or the present will um, change the photo and have another the enhanced, enhanced uh, landscape and you can choose also this well so we are going to bring back the original photo with some improvements that uh, luminar already make and we are going to start editing here at this part in this part so here uh, you don't have so much filters like luminar you you have the filters here that you are that are available for um, editing but you have the most part of it so you don't have the artificial intelligent filters but the program do it for you uh, the difference is that you cannot control so much the edit the addition or edit the editing um, so let's start uh, by decreasing a little bit the highlights and decreasing the shadows uh, you just don't need to do that so much because the problem the program already make it for you and the difference the the the, the changes that I'm going to make is just here in uh, in the saturation oh we are going to put the white balance also it was in the same place it's not perfect as you can see because it's a little bit uh, gray it's not pure white but uh, it can improve a little bit our white balance and uh, okay so now we have it the HDR smart structure that we can improve here the, some HDR effect you have the polarizing filter that I'm going to use also and uh, the boosting the details I'm not going to do it and you have also the adjustable gradient uh, like in luminar that this one yes I'm going to use because I'm going to put a little bit more blue in the sky and I'm going to set the orientation just like in luminar I'm going to put it just like this only to affect the skies okay okay just like this and I'm going to put more vibrance change a little bit the exposure the, not the highlights and make a little bit contrasty not too much because he already make a good job and mm, I'm just not liking too much I'm sorry I'm, I'm going to increase the exposure again because I'm I don't like the the changes because we did the changes in luminar because the problem the program didn't make the changes for us so we we are we were working the photo uh, from the beginning but here in aurora the program already make the changes in the photo so you don't need to make so many changes as we as we do it as we did it in uh, in luminar okay so just m let me just uh, put some shadows here or increase the shadows okay so now uh, i'm finished and um, 
I'm going to export the photo. I, I'm, I just, uh, I'm just going to mention one thing, uh, and I'm going to show you in the Aurora, but it's the same as Luminar. In you have, um, you have one thing. Well, I don't, I don't have it here in Aurora. I'm sorry, uh, I have it in Luminar. Is one thing to decrease the grain in. Uh, in photo or the noise uh, you have one in aurora but you uh, sorry in, in luminar but you here you don't have what you do have is the i and one thing i use a lot is the define so the 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 this is the preset from or the plugin from nick software it's it's free and you can use it also in aurora and luminar so it's fantastic uh, I really like this uh, denoise program. I use it a lot, and you can use also in this program. Okay, this was just for you to see. Uh, it uh, it takes a little bit to open. I'm not going to denoise because I didn't do it in the other ones. In Lightroom, you can denoise also in the in the slider of the noise reduction, and in these programs you can do it also. So let's export the photo. And I'm going to export it as Aurora Edit. And now it's processing. So we finish here our editing uh, at, in the same photo uh, using different programs. I cannot tell you uh, from myself what is best for you. Um, I can tell you what is best for me. I, I found these programs from Skylum really, really fantastic to use because they give you a lot of freedom of editing. I, I think they render the colors a little bit better than, um, than Lightroom. And uh, boy, I really like the, the results. So let's see here. And we are going to see the three photos edited in the final. So you have here the Luminar photo. I'm going to make it like this. So the Luminar edit, the Aurora edit, and the Lightroom edit. Of course, these uh, are uh, editings that you can change for yourself. Maybe you can, you can uh, achieve the same results for every photo. Um, but you have here three diff different uh, ways of editing one photo um, using different programs. For example, uh, and uh, you looking for the photos, I think I overreacted here uh, of uh, in, in Luminar because it's way too, um, for me, it's a little bit um, saturated, the image. The Aurora edit is a, a pure HDR, so it's what it's what it's what the program makes. It's ma it makes HDR images, and from that perspective, it's really good image. And Lightroom edit, uh, what we can see is is a, a little bit washed out uh, image. Of course, you could increase the um, the saturation in Lightroom also, and you can uh, boost a little bit the colors here. But what uh, it looks like to me, it's a little bot, it's a little washed out from um, a, a pure edit. So here are the the, the photos, and uh, you can take the conclusions for yourself. I really enjoy to work uh, with Luminar and Aurora, and I I also bought this I bought these two programs because I I, I feel that uh, they, they could do, be useful for me. I'm not paid for uh, this. Uh, I didn't get the programs for free. I, pa I paid my program, so I'm not biased. I don't. Uh, I'm not making a review, um, a paid review. So this is only my opinion, and I hope uh, it can help you uh, choosing what is the best program for editing photos for you. So thank you very much to watch. Um, uh, the Go Wild channel and this video. Uh, soon I will make an in-depth review of Aurora uh, HDR 2019. So stay tuned to the program, to the channel. Subscribe if you want and put a like on the video. Thank you very much. See you next time.